may magal daw kada tayo amin na po. And uh, let me greet all the Imaloy leaders who are present here today. And um, I was reading the a while ago the the theme for today's for this special event. And it gives me so much pleasure to really um, find out the real meaning of the today's Tahal Kayon, Babaluhodahay, Tat, Mame Shit, Mame Shit. Kahit tagapangasin ako, may parparigat ako. I mean, got 20 years sa kami na, are you aware that 20 years kami, JB nga? Yeah? And then, uh, I stayed in uh, Bugias, Kankanaima for four years. But nonetheless, I I was really amazed on the sudden shift. I think that we concentrate so much on our elders, which we need to do that. But this time, I was really surprised that you came up with this new theme of Rise Up, Ibalu Youth. You know? Be courageous, be brave. And finally, um, I'm really moved. If you remember last year, I presented to you a challenge to allow our young leaders to be part of the decision-making process and to allow our young leaders to take the lead. Yeah. And this is actually the focus now of my administration, youth empowerment and youth leadership. And that's the reason why we're now coming up with a big program for us to be able to really harness the potential of our youth. Kaya ho, in the entire country, we put up an innovation hub. Itong innovation hub actually being man, being managed by the young leaders of the city of Baguio. Now, I remember mentioning that is this not an insult to our to our elders? I mean, God, siguro, uh, you can recall that when I, the last time that I spoke to you, I mentioned to you that every time I meet with senior citizen, ting mga kukanya dagat, Mayor Jay, Jay uh, ayuda me, Mayor Jay medical expenses me, Mayor Jay uh, uh, free movies tayo, Mayor kanuti bingo tayo. But you know, when I talk to young people, you know, it's a different, it's a different uh, environment we're in. They have a different perspective of the world. They have a different perspective of their environment. There's so much courage in them. There's so much energy. They are not even afraid to speak up. If you have a chance to meet all these uh, members of the Innovation Alliance, composed mainly of young people, you'll be surprised that they want, everyone want to make a big difference. They, everyone, believe in change. Everyone, all these innovators now, young innovators, they're so full of creativity that you will be surprised ang ganun pala sila kalayo na. And I'm really glad that you have this theme in uh, in the celebration of the Ibaloy Day. For us, a local government, I hope you won't be, some of you will not be insulted if I say uh, we want more young leaders, young political leaders in local government. Otherwise, we won't be able to progress. I hope that you're going to help me ensure that in our city council, sana 50% yan are young leaders. We need them, believe me. 50% are elders so that they will be able to mentor our young leaders, but 50% should be coming from the young people. Kailangan na natin yung ganong paradigm shift for us to be able to sustain our progress in the city of Baguio. 
when you talk about innovation, when you talk about sustainability, kadimitan ng ating mga elders, sometimes, dahil nakakonsentrate na sila sa ibang bagay, sometimes they don't have, understand anymore, the context and the concept of this. And at the same time, when you add the word resiliency and the concept of resiliency, mahirapan na sila. But you talk to the young people today, they understand innovation, they understand sustainability, they understand resiliency. And that's the focus now of the city of Baguio. For the city to be able to become the innovation hub, sustainability hub, and resiliency hub. Bakit natin ginagawa nito? Because I just came from South Korea and for a four-day training on disaster resilience. And sad to state that by 2028, we will be a, we will feel the big change in our environment, meaning the effect of climate change. It is something irreversible. Mararamdaman ho natin starting 2020. And by 2032, by 2032 in the city of Baguio, based on the modeling that we had with the consultants of the Asian <coughs> Development Bank and uh, experts on weather and climate change, we will experience a 23% increase in our inundation, in our rainfall dito sa ciudad ng Baguio. So we have to prepare for that. No? And if there's anyone who has that ability to help us develop all this mitigation plan and adaptation plan, <coughs> these are the young people. These are the young people. Sana ho, tulungan niyo ako. Hindi ho natin kailangan dyan sa council yung popularity. Hindi ho natin kailangan dyan sa council yung picture taking. Hindi ho kailangan dyan sa council yung bigla na lang sasabit-sabit na lang kung anong mga activity para lang maging visible siya. Ang kailangan ho natin dyan sa council are critical thinkers. People who understand the concept and the context of resiliency, sustainability, and innovation. Help us. Why? Why am I appealing to you? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we are preparing the city of Baguio to be a legacy. This is the legacy that we are going to pass on to the next generation. And that's the reason why ako naman ho ngayon, I'm now strongly advocating good governance and raising hell about corruption. Tayo ho, Tayo mga government employees o tayo mga entrepreneurs, kumita ho tayo ng 5,000 pesos o 1,000 na increase, tuwang-tawa na tayo. Pero look at our politics, many of our political leaders now. Many of them are already contractors. Political leader na nga sila, contractor pa sila, supplier pa sila. Meron pa silang bagong sistema ngayon. Meron pa silang sistema ngayon. Parking fee. Can you just imagine a parking fee? They give you 1 billion. Congressman, I'll give you 1 billion. By the way, 5% ang kunin mo, ibalik mo sa amin ng 35%. That's 350 million pesos. Hindi lang yan. Meron pa silang leadership fund. Katulad yan. Yung isang mayor sa NCR, sabi niya sa akin, mayor, sabi sa kanya, Mayor, yung 200 na binihingi mo, gagawin namin 1 billion. Tuwa-tuwa naman siya for his flood control project. Tuwa-tuwa siya, 1 billion. Okay, very good, very good. Kailangan ko yan. Sa aking, uh, sa aking uh, river. And then after one week, binalikan siya, Mayor, nakalimutan pala na yung bagiti sa'yo. Ibalik mo pala yung 25%. That's 250 million pesos ang yayaman na ko nila ngayon. And look at us. Look at us. 1,000 pesos, 2,000 pesos, 3,000, tuwan tuwan na tayo. Join me. It's about time that we have to speak up. We can no longer be silent. Otherwise, if we're going to be silent about this, 
Ano na lang ang sasabihin sa atin ng mga bata ngayon? We're saying, rise up, ibaloy. But we're not even doing anything. We're not creating that enabling environment for them to be able to rise up. Are we not supposed, tayo mga elders, tayo nga nasa position ngayon in government, tayo mga political leaders, are we not supposed to create that enabling environment for them to be able to develop their leadership potential and for them to be able to become responsible and productive citizens and later on to become leaders? Kung 20 years from now, eh, puro corruption na lang nangyari. I remember the words of Ireland, a historian, when he said, when corruption is rewarded and honesty is a self-sacrifice, then society is doomed. Ang sabi naman ni Peter Obi, who is a Nigerian uh, a philanthropist, he said, when politics is more profitable than industry, no country will progress. When politicians and government officials are more richer than entrepreneurs, then you, that country, is manufacturing poverty. And look around you. That's precisely what is happening now. Please, our Ibaloys, I call upon you. Join me in this fight. Walang nagsasalita sa mga political leaders. Kukunti lang kami nagsasalita. Join me in this fight. It will be an uphill battle. It will be a tough battle. It will be a lowly battle. Sabi nga ni President ni Senator Lacson, when you look behind you, don't get frustrated because nobody is out there fighting with you. But, sabi naman niya, don't get frustrated. Because right now, when I look behind me, I found out na marami rin pala sumusuport. And I hope, they baloys will be one of those. Speak up. Let us not be silent about it. Otherwise, it become, if we give up, it is as if we have already given up on the future of our young people, the future of the young Ibaloys, and from a higher perspective, the survival of this nation cannot. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. I hope I did not bore you. God bless you all. Pagbuhay po ang Ibaloy.